Stacey and Chase Boo, East Coast Radio. It's Wednesday, and what do we love to do on a Wednesday? Let's go! I know when the hotline bling. It's the Kitties Hotline. Hello, children of KZN. This is why we had to make it PG-13. Yes. These, come on, they're literal youths listening to the show. Uh, so, guys, uh, word on the street is that you have holidays coming up yeah. in a bit. Parents, by the way, the June holidays are around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it just happened yesterday. So menacing. Wow. No, no, no. It's like these kids are always on holiday. However, Not before again. the holidays can commence, we write exams. Hmm. We write tests. And this is quite an important one because it's the middle of the year, right? Yeah. You are two two terms down. So you're going to get all your books out and get to like write and like you get your pen license. And now O's are jawling. But we know because we've been there and done that, that when it comes to tests and exam time, it can be stressful for you mm. as the child, but sometimes it might be even more your dad or your granny or your auntie. Like it feels like you're looking at them going, you're meant to calm me down, but yeah, you, seem, yeah. you seem quite tense about this though. But they're not helping at all. So in this hour, asking on uh, the kiddies hotline, who's freaking out more during exams and test time? Is it you? Is it mum? Or is it dad? 061-792-9495. Ariana, up first. Hello, Auntie Stacey and Uncle Jay. My name is Ariana And the one that always freaks out When it comes towards exam time Is me Because sometimes people are talking And it's hard to concentrate And I'm scared I don't finish on time Because our paper will get taken away So yeah That's what stresses me out Thank you Bye Stacy and Chase Boo Guys we are Kitty's hotlining today It involves tests Exams And then A two and a half week vacation All the parents So excited I know when now it's the Kitties Hotline. So we've already heard from Ariana here, um, one of our favorite kitties on the Aww. Kitties Hotline. Love her. Uh, today's question is, when it comes to tests and exams, who is more stressed? Is it you as the child or is it your parents, your aunties? Is it your teacher? Like, who who is the most stressed? Maybe you're easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Like, yeah. Ariana's saying she is not easy peasy. She just wants peace. She's the one who's stressed. <laughs> Everyone's making a noise. She just wants to finish her paper. Can you let her breathe? Can you get off her neck? And I... I I hard relate to Ariana yeah. but that's because I well now everybody knows who my mother is after last week Friday's oh, show a queen but I want you to imagine all of that wonderment in a scary way she, she would just put a lot of pressure on you yeah she would just like, kind of leer at me from across the room or then like come and stand menacingly over me with the smell of you know the inside of those um, plas- plastic washing dish glove things oh yeah like permeating that in the j'adore you know uh, I assume that you're ready for this yeah I assume you're waking up earlier to go over your notes you get I an assume a. yeah that you will get an A unless it was math she was like shame babes just try uh, but everything else Survive. she was like I expect an A <laughs> and okay. yeah that's what we had to to do my sister and I have turned out perfectly fine. <laughs> We're very well-adjusted people. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> cool as um, cucumbers. Just mm, relax. Just chatting about the involvement of parents in kids' academic lives. Guys, like, Mina, Mina, my parents never knew when I was writing a test or an exam or like up until maybe like I got to matric when it started being serious and everyone is excited for the newspaper we were starting to do like career stuff then only my parents started being involved in my but they were like oh, hang on a minute didn't you matriculate yeah, what, this year what, you, what, you, what grade are you in <laughs> like my parents never really and I just want to say out of that like that's why I'm so involved in my child's academic life like parents you need to be involved otherwise it's uninspiring and like it's your child be a part of the academic life so that they you know, it's more exciting. But also don't traumatize them. Yeah, like, take it easy as well. Don't so be like, too much. You know, life's all about balance. So as as the hour continues. <laughs> very traumatized just thinking about this. Very Stacey. triggering content. Uh, case it in, in this hour, to the kids under the ages of 18. In fact, if you are in matric this year and you want to chime in here, mm, you can. Mm, mm. When it comes to any kind of testing situation, when it comes to any kind of examination station, are you stressed out or are you pretty cool and it's actually mom and dad who are freaking out? The WhatsApp line is open on 061-792-9495. Look, I don't, I don't want to be that auntie. Okay, but you're going to be that auntie. Now is the time <laughs> for radical honesty. It's tough. Guys, it just gets worse, eh? Buckle up. Yeah, you're like, I am stressing about this natural science exam. Oh, no. Child, let me tell you, it is you just... seen nothing. The second you leave school and you leave that uniform behind, it's just Whoa. uphill, babes. It's uphill. Uh, so what you need to do is ensure that you're flanked by the right people. And I think that it's cool if your parents get stressed about your... Uh, 
progress or your performance during exams and tests and stuff because my favorite is especially like when you get to I would imagine high school level I don't think even with you by the time Zander gets to high school he's going to be coming to you with things that you didn't learn when you were in school yeah like Boma, what is that? Yeah. Gonje, three ta- times. Sun cause. You know, like, what? Tan. Like, yo, now, now you're just trying to embarrass me. Yeah. I know when the hotline blinks. It's the Kitties Hotline. So we're asking the kids of KZN, who is stressed more? Is it you? Is it mom? Or is it dad? And it's so adorable, so honest. This is what the kids of KZN had to say. Hello, Stacey and Jace Boo. My name is Rihanna and I'm in grade four in Kisfah and I live in a and Toti and my mom freaks more than me in the exam times. Hello, Stacey and Jace Boo. It's Holly Mayer speaking. I am actually the most stressed one because I was doing homeschooling, but now I've actually moved back to school and it's very, very stressful. Okay, bye. Good afternoon, Mr. Spool and Auntie Stacey. My name is Peyton Clare. I live in Baby Chatsworth. My daddy is nervous for me because when I'm studying, you think uh, I'm going to fail or I'm going to fail. He always gets freaked out when, I, when the exam starts. Uh. Stacey and Chase Boo, East Coast Radio. Money Long, made for me on East Coast Radio, KZN's number one hit music station. Um, thanks, kiddies. It, it's sounding a lot like the kids are pretty chilled out. Yeah. I, I have a question though, Stacey, because I know I know you come from uh, a place of uh, great knowledge. I mean, mm. yeah, based on just meeting your mum, so wise, I can tell that you are you are very very wise. If you had to just give the kids of KZN advice on um, you know from high school to out of high school, university, and life, something based on all those three different phases of life. Oh, what would you say to these kids? <laughs> And this is with zero thought. Let me play no. some right music in the background as no, well. No, no. Let me so see. Let me see. Let the me best see. advice that I can give young people yeah. is that this is the time of your life. Yeah. This is the easiest part. It's this is this is the best. And time goes so quickly. One day you're gonna look up and someone's gonna be calling you sir. Yeah. Someone's gonna be calling you ma'am, yeah. unsolicited yeah. and unprompted. And you are allowed to change your mind you are allowed to believe in your abilities you are allowed to have dreams and feelings they are valid and you should chase them and there are going to be a lot of people along the way who are going to try and undercut you Mm -hmm. stay true Mm -hmm. and the more you know yourself the less likely it is you will stray off your path so stay true and do you boo boo wow Wow. Do Available you, to MC weddings, birthdays, anniversaries. I win. That's <laughs> Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.